Bob Gerald here, and this is part two of a glimpse into getting ahead in a just getting by world, based on the work from Philip E. Duval and copyrighted by Duval and Associates, published by Aha Process Incorporated. Module seven is called Stages of Change. It's here that we really look at the psychology that, um, that's related to the stages of change. The stages of change are pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, and maintenance. This is also a place where we talk about losing relationships because sometimes in order to make changes, we have to lose we have to let go of relationships that are very dear to us because we realize that the people we're hanging out with, the people who are our best friends, sometimes will hold us back. Because, you know, everyday people, they don't even know about things like this, you know. It's good to go to a place where you can talk about things with something positive, something, you know, that's going towards, you know, your career. So, I mean, I have some positive people around that are willing to help me go through with these goals and also hear my goals. It's, a, it's a, you know, when you're out there in the world, it's not many people that really listen to you and your goals. But with these group of people, they're, they're like a support. It's a support net. Module 8 is self-assessment. This is a hard module. This is where we take the 11 resources that are identified that we have talked about and we look at them really more closely and we do an assessment of each resource relation in relation to our own selves. This is really difficult because we have to be totally honest with ourselves. I'm trying to assess myself uh -huh. and I don't know that I, I don't know if I want to be realistic on that. I, then I have to I have to be accountable for for that realistic person, mm -hmm. and sometimes that's not fun. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> it really isn't because you put yourself out there. I had to tell myself, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to, so I just kind of exactly it. I was like, mm -hmm, I'm gonna half check this. One. <laughs> <laughs> but you know something. But I didn't want to because I had to. I had to tell the truth I, I, to myself. I would have to say the, the best part of the class that I like is when we get ready to do the uh, self-examination. I always, I have taken it, like I said, I think 10, 11 times, and every time there's a change that there's more that I find out about myself because when you do that self-assessment, you have to really dig deep get down to the real nitty gritty then. I mean, you can't, you can fool some of the people as they say some of the time, but you can't, can't fool them all the time. You have to really get with it if you want to make a change. Module nine talks about building resources. This is where we really talk about the idea of how do we build our resources. The first resource is financial. Do you have enough money? That's the one most people think of when they think of poverty. But the others are just as important. The second is emotional. How do you respond to things? Do you overreact? Can you respond appropriately? Are your emotions in control? The third is mental. Do you have the capacity to learn, to train, to get ahead? The fourth is language. Very important. Knowing how to use language appropriately can make or break you. Fifth is social support. Do you have people you can rely on, people you can depend on? Sixth is physical. Are you healthy? Is there an illness that keeps you from getting the other things done? Seven is spiritual. Are you in a spiritual community that can support you? Number eight, integrity and trust. It's important to know if you can trust the people around you and if you yourself act with integrity towards them. Nine is motivation and persistence. Do you have the motivation? Do you have the persistence to actually make the changes you need to make and get things done? Ten are relationships and role models. It refers to 
whether you have those relationships and those role models that you can count on, whether they are appropriate and positive role models instead of negative ones. Number 11 is your knowledge of hidden rules. As we discussed in an earlier module, the hidden rules are so important for you to be aware of. Do you at least know about them? Module 10 is community assessment. We have, at this point, each individual has assessed their own resources, and now we invite community members to come in, and we look at a number of resources that have been identified as important to a community. Matching people from the community, there are assessments done in the following areas, housing and banking, wages, protection from predators, job opportunities, education, transportation, health and nutrition, and community leadership. And the biggest thing we saw were the social service sector leaders and the faith-based. They're the ones providing the strategies. The rest of them need some serious help. That it's not just individual choices that cause poverty. It's about what resources are available in the community. It's about what the government policies are. It's about the social capital that a, pe that a group of people have. So in this module, we come together as a community and we do a community assessment. And once this is done, we compile our information and we're keeping that as an ongoing kind of research element. Module 11 is really bringing the other modules together because its title is Your Plan. What we emphasize to our investigators is that nobody is going to write a plan for them. They are responsible. They have built on the foundation and now they will have the power to make the changes that they need. But they do need to write a plan. And so they have been working all along to create some mental models that will help them to understand themselves and their community and now they are making decisions about what it is they want to make changes in in their lives. In this module we have them use the SMART goal process to create a direction and action items of things that they can work on. SMART goals are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-specific. They will go through a process of learning what it means to write goals, to identify resources to achieve these goals, and to identify the steps that it will take, the people that it will take, to help them to get to the place where they want to be. Module 12 is talking about the community plans. We create a mental model of, of what it might, what our community might look like in its effort to get out of poverty. And this can be a powerful um, module as well because it gets us out of our own lives into that abstract area of looking at the larger community and finding ourselves how we fit in with that larger community. Module 13 is our closing and transition. It's in this module where we have a big celebration. We go over to the circles um, group and we have a graduation ceremony. We have a speaker and we go through a process of recognizing all the hard work that the investigators have put into their work. I am a graduate of the Get In The Head class. Our theme song was Lean On Me. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody know it. it's by Bill Withers. Yeah, Bill. Okay. Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry your load. It won't be long till I'm gonna Somebody to lean on. You just call on me, brother, when you need a hand. We all need somebody to lean on.
Getting a head class does make a difference. Um, it helps people to understand more about poverty. Most of us think it's just financial, but then when we start getting into the investigation of poverty, then we learn that it's more than just uh, financial, it's more than just where you grew up. And I like to see the light bulb that turns on into their mind when they understand that it's more than just their situation. When someone sees that they have someone that can support them and support their ideas, most likely they're not afraid to step forward. Keep, keep striving, keep striving. You may not get it all right the first time, but don't give up. Keep striving, keep striving, keep striving. I, I looked at a show one night and it talked about a lady that had become homeless. And she told them, don't look down on me because I used to have a job, I used to have a car, I used to have everything that you have. But, at a, you know, some things happened in my life and it happened the first time I got up. It happened the second time, I still got up, but it happened that third time and it was just hard for me to get up. I think this time that they're all up.